This ordeal, it may be that we brought it upon ourselves. guarantee that all will have access to it. It's something so obvious, and yet, we did not understand it. There was little we did understand. We didn't know how to use the key to unlock our future. Today? Oh, um, didn't you see the message I left on the board? I have cram school today. I know, but... I already left my stuff at the dorm, so there's no need for me to be there in person, right? I suppose not, but are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Oh, sorry, break's almost over. I gotta go. Tell everyone I said hi, okay? <sighs> Yukari-chan's not coming after all. Sonata-san said he'd be training at the gym, so I don't think he's coming either. 
Man, what is up with those two? This is the last day we have before the dorm closes down. With all our memories of this place, you'd think they want to see it off together, you know? It is what it is. Everyone deals with things in their own way. It's up to each of us to choose our own path from here. We can't deny them that. Yeah, I guess you're right. Besides, I can hardly blame them. Things have only been getting busier. If I didn't have to reclaim these, I may not have made it here myself. Guess it's finally time to say goodbye to our evokers. Kinda bums me out, but it's not like we got a use for them anymore. Let's see, two, four... Oh wait, how many are there supposed to be? I guess. I believe this is all of them. Huh? You had one too, I guess, son? That's right. You had his for safekeeping. Let's not get all down in the dumps about it. I don't think he would have wanted to see us like this. Sorry, you're right. We've already said our goodbyes. It's just, I can't help wondering why. There didn't seem to be anything wrong with him. It just looked like he fell asleep, didn't it? He must have used up the rest of his power to protect us. The final battle. I don't think it's worth speculating on the reasons. The one thing I feel certain of is that he wouldn't have blamed any of us for what happened. Yeah. My Chan's got that right, you know? I'm glad to see you're still hanging in there, I guess. It really seemed like you cared about him more than anything in the world. I'm somewhat surprised as well. It's possible I won't feel the full impact until I'm settled back in at the lab tomorrow. Huh? The lab? Are you planning on commuting from there next semester? Oh, no, I... I guess it's returning to the lab for good. She won't be enrolling as a third year. Well, seriously? Why? It's been fine this whole time, hasn't it? The decision was mine. I'm sorry I didn't mention it sooner. I enjoy being with you all, but it's time for me to find my own way of life. Oh, but don't worry. You can come visit me whenever you wish. I guess. Think of it as a new beginning for her. Anyway, we seem to have gotten off track, but I didn't mean for this to be a sad occasion. I've ordered top quality sushi for us all. Same as last time, actually. We may not have the full team with us, but let's have a nice dinner here tonight. Oh, that would be great. Top quality? I mean, uh, no objections here. You'll join in too, right, I guess? Of course. I won't miss this chance to spend more time with you all. The number of apathy syndrome cases is down from last month, which seems to mark an end to the strange illness. In spite of this, surveys have shown that the public's everyday stress levels remain high, according to an investigation by the Ministry of Health and Welfare. Wow, when did it get so late? It's almost midnight. It's hard to believe we passed the evening so quickly, even without doing anything in particular. I suppose it's because sitting here with you all brings me back to the time we spent together. I think I know what you mean. I have so many memories of this lounge that I find myself wanting to come back to it. It's the same for me. When I'm here, I can't help but reminisce on those days. It's funny since, well, the things that happened back then weren't exactly pleasant. I get you on the past and all, but... Isn't there something still off about the present? I feel like 
everywhere I go. I see people goofing around like nothing else matters. It's like Strega's dumb ideas never got out of their heads, you know? I mean, is that the kind of world we almost died to protect? <laughs> wow, you've really grown up, Junpei-san. I don't need to hear that from you. It's out of our hands, I'm afraid. We may have prevented the fall, but there's only so much we can do to reform society. Yeah, I guess. But still. And that's all for the weather. At the tone, the time will be 12 a.m. What was that? Right at midnight. No way. Is it the dark hour again? Nah. Everything's fine out there. Wait, the news. Good evening. It is now March 31st. Here are the latest news reports. Huh? The 31st just ended, didn't it? Did the anchor misread the date? Jeez, man. Is that all it was? Oh, I guess even the news people screw up every once in a while. <laughs> really had me going there for a second. Weird. My phone says it's the 31st, too. So, like, it's gotta be a false alarm, yeah? That's... a sensible assumption to make for now. But something felt... off. Uh, it's getting late. We should probably call it a night. I know, we wanted to say goodbye to the dorm with the bang, but... not like this. Um... Would it be all right if I return to my room? I have preparations to make for the move tomorrow. Oh, of course. Good night, I guess. Night. I'd best contact Yukari and Akihiko, just in case. When I close my eyes, I remember the last moment I spent with him. The day he fell asleep. We brought him back to our dorm, fear beginning to well up within us. And the next morning, our fears became reality. He was lost to us. For some time after that, I fell into depression and began having the same dream night after night. A dream where I run after him, calling his name, but can never catch up. When he was alive, I promised to protect him, and I made that my reason for living. But now, that promise can never be fulfilled. Then, one day, my sadness suddenly left me, as if a mysterious fog had lifted. I stopped dreaming. And I now no longer require sleep. <sighs> it's no use. I can't sleep. Can I really continue living like this? Huh? A butterfly? I guess, are you awake? Uh, yes, the door is open. I guess, come quick, we need you. Has something happened? Are we under attack? It's hard to describe. The lobby floor suddenly opened up, and anyway, we need to hurry to the lounge. Understood. Come to think of it, that day I stopped dreaming, that must have been when all this actually began. What's going on? Are you okay? Be careful, Igis. Whatever it is, it's not human.
shadow. No, you're impossible. You're just like me? You're, I guess. <sighs> Who are you? Why are you doing this? I'm Metis. I've come to protect you. Protect me? These people pose a threat to you. Therefore, I will eliminate them. What are you saying? They won't let you hurt them! Then I have no choice. I can't let you interfere. It's for your own good. Stand aside. One too. I can do this. Persona. This is my resolve. Persona, engage. <laughs> You're stronger than I thought. So it's come to this. <gasps> Is that? Even this? must be eliminated. <gasps> To the Velvet Room. Ah, 
It appears we have a very rare guest indeed. Are you human? Or merely humanoid? <laughs> it seems your destiny is similar to mine. Where... where am I? Who are you? Ah, forgive my manners. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Igor, and this is my assistant Elizabeth. We both reside here in the Velvet Room. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between mind and matter. It is a room for those who have forged a contract. Yes. In awakening to the power of the wild card, you are now bound to a contract. Henceforth, you shall be our guest in the Velvet Room. Wild card? Surely you know that of which I speak. The ability to wield multiple personas and their powers. Until recently, a young man with the same talent was our guest here. Are you saying that you knew him? Indeed I did. He achieved a marvelous thing. Finding the answer to life. The answer to life? The power you have gained is a means to attain that answer. If I were to find this answer, would it mean my death? All who live journey in search of the answer. And they find it at the journey's end. If you have close ties to people you call friends, remember this. Strength of heart, when united, is barred by no door. It was the same for that young man. And that is all I can tell you. Huh. Well then, I mustn't hold you here any longer. It would appear that an ordeal is about to unfold. Upon your return. That feeling again. I am certain you will require our help in the future. Please take this. It would be best if you came here of your own free will next time. Until then. Farewell. Once made a choice to live. So much has changed since then, myself included. If this new power is a sign that I'm drawing closer to life, does it mean that the answer at the end of the journey is death? I was surprised at the time to discover how little the possibility bothered me. Glad to see you awake. You really scared us passing out like that. Yukari-san. Mitsuru-senpai asked me to come just in case, and I get caught up in something like this? Come on, seriously? I'm sorry for worrying you. Hmm? What's all this? While I was fixing your body, I added some additional equipment. We found some strange things under the floor. There was no sign that you would wake up, so instead of waiting, we tried everything we could. I see. Still sucks, though, getting bossed around by her like that. That girl told us, if you want to protect Igis, you should put that on her. Hey, sounds like you've had a rough time. No worries here, though. She's on her best behavior now. I guess she wasn't lying after all. Anyway, she can't cause any trouble now. We have our evokers this time. 
Man, why do you gotta bust things up like that? It's my turn to clean the place today. How about you quit it with the silent treatment and say something? Mm. Huh? You're serious? You were sleeping all this time? Oh! Uh, I... You were looking pretty comfy there. Guess you don't think of us humans as much of a threat, huh? It's just, I was tired after going into orgia mode, so... Uh. Did you cooperate with them in order to help me? The reason I came here in the first place was to protect you. You don't need to restrain me. I won't attack anyone anymore. Why the sudden change of heart? You can't expect us to trust you without an explanation. Well, it's... It's because I thought you wouldn't like me if I did. Huh? Let's release her. I don't know if she can be trusted, but I believe she has no intention of attacking us any further. Besides, if she's really like me, then the restraints won't hold her anyway. Seriously? And all those friggin' non-stop ships were for nothing? First, tell us who you are, and your purpose in being here. My name is... Metis. As you can see, you and I are essentially sister units. In fact, you are the reason why I'm here. I've come to save you from this hopeless situation. A hopeless situation? Did something happen while I was asleep? Speaking of which, how long was I asleep? Since our battle ended, I'd say about a day and a half has passed. Yet today is still March 31st. Tomorrow and all the days after it will also be March 31st. At this rate, it will last forever. Didn't you feel it? The moment time looped? Looped? Do you mean what we felt at midnight? Then, are you saying that the same day is repeating itself? That's not all. We haven't been able to leave the dorm either. That makes two ways we're trapped here. What? But how could that... Both space and time are being distorted by the abyss of time beneath us. The... abyss of time? It's difficult to explain. It'd be easier to show you. I'll lead the way. Please, follow me. Hey! Who made you the boss? Is the abyss of time. It's uncharted territory that I believe spreads underground, much like the roots of a tree. How could something like this have appeared under the lounge? At first, the abyss of time was just a small, self-contained space. But then one day, it started growing rapidly and eventually spread to your dorm. It's clear just by looking at it that this place wasn't man-made. It might be the product of some dangerous power, just like Tartarus was. Oh, sheesh. Haven't we had enough of that kind of stuff already? I'm not sure words alone can fully convey what's happening. But the flow of time here is abnormal. That's why time is looping. And why you can't leave the dorm. The only solution is to find a way to somehow eradicate the abyss of time. Eradicate it? How are we supposed to do that? I've already tried the simplest method that has the highest probability of success. Eliminating all of you. The abyss of time is linked to this storm, as if drawn to it. And for some reason, you are the only ones who can perceive the time loop. Clearly, there is a strong connection between all of you and what's happening. So that's why you attacked? To eliminate us? 
the hell? We've never even heard of this place before. If there is another way, it can only be found by entering the Abyss of Time. You'll have to discover the cause and strike at its source. So you want us to investigate it under the assumption that we'll have to fight? That's why I insisted on the extra equipment to protect Igis. Hold on. You're joking, right? Are you seriously telling us that we have to risk our lives again like we did with Tartarus? Never mind that! How are we supposed to just believe whatever you say and jump into that freaky place blind? Well, do you have a better plan? The basement of your dorm is an infinite abyss. Time is looping, and you can't reach the outside world. If we can't leave the dorm, how will we eat? We're stuck here long enough and we run out of food. Are we going to starve to death? <laughs> current situation continues, things could get worse. This is your only option if you want to survive. Naturally, we all want to survive, but you attacked us the minute you saw us. You must understand that we can't simply entrust our lives to you. I'm not even buying your reason for being here. You say you want to protect Igis, but what's in it for you? What's in it for me? I'm doing this because I care about her. I mean, she's all I have. About that, your story doesn't fit the facts. Igis was the last of her series. No other units were produced after her. And on top of that, it bothers me that you talk like you've been in the abyss of time from the start. I thought this was supposed to be uncharted territory that was unconnected to the outside world until recently. Well... Aren't you supposed to be an anti-shadow weapon anyway? Attacking us humans to save Igus doesn't make sense. That's... I... um... Well, we're waiting. Hope you've got a good answer. You better not be thinking you can get away with pulling a fast one on us again. Enough about me! What good is knowing any of this anyway? Besides, haven't I already told you that there's no time to waste? Now follow me, or are you giving up so soon? Because if you are, you should have just let me kill you in the first place. What did you just say? You're right. We may have no choice but to enter this place. But if you continue to act this way, we'll have to go on without you. Without me? <laughs> you couldn't possibly. <laughs> you, you need me! I know the most about the Abyss, and... As if. What do you know about what we need? We all risk our lives for each other. If you think so little of my friends, then you can't come with us. No. Might suck, but if that's how you're gonna be, then we'll just leave you here by yourself. Uh, I... myself? Oh, I'm not happy with that. If you'd rather be our enemy, then we can settle things right here. Oh, we don't have to go that far. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please don't be mad at me, I guess. I'll listen to you from now on. I will. So please don't leave me. Even if you change your tune now, it's not like we're gonna start trusting you. Still, though, maybe it's true that all she really wants is to protect Igis-san. Well, Senpai, should we take her with us? Because if this is our only choice, I just want to hurry up and get it over with. Okay, everyone, listen up. It seems that once again, we must engage in both exploration and battle. I've been thinking it over, and I believe Igis should take command. If someone with the power to change personas is in charge, we can proceed the same way as before. And if you, as the leader, approve of it, 
Then I have no objections to Metis accompanying us. Mitsuru-san. <laughs> if you want to protect me, you must fight to protect us all. Whatever happens, you can't hurt my friends. Can you promise me that? Yes! I promise! This better not come back to bite us in the ass. Hey, I guess, since Mitsuru-senpai just mentioned it, what's up with you suddenly having his power? I... honestly don't know. When I thought we might lose someone else, I got scared. And suddenly... Metis, was it? Do you know anything about this? I just met her. How would I know? Anyway, if you already know someone with that same power, why not just ask them? <sighs> if we're going to end up fighting again, we'd better make sure we're outfitted properly. Well, as far as the school records are concerned, you and I are technically still Gekokan students. Yamagishi. Could I ask you to retrieve the armbands from the command room? Of course. Oh, and as for the things we found when the floor opened up, I put them in the command room. So I'll look into them once I have a chance. Maybe I can learn something. All right, let's get back upstairs. Um, I guess... I promise to listen to what you say. So, could I call you my sister? <laughs> Go right ahead. Time I get geared up, my brain gets into this mindset like, time to get her done. <laughs> you know? No, actually, I don't know. I'm just happy I get a match with my sister. She got all pouty the moment we changed clothes. I would have thought she just wanted an armband. This doesn't make you one of us, though. Still, it's a good thing you've got one on. This way, I can get a detailed read on your vitals. I had some extras prepared, but I didn't expect we would need them again. Well, is everyone ready to start exploring? Are we missing anything? I don't think so, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Junpei here might not, but what about the rest of you? Yeah, I can't put my finger on it, but something does feel off. Agreed. Something's not sitting quite right. Huh? I'm the only one hyped? Wait, hold up. I definitely feel something. I think? Maybe? Yamagishi, have there been any changes to our readings? Um, well, I don't know how to put this, but they're indicating that everyone's strength has weakened significantly, which may prove to be an impediment. Well, uh, ain't that, like, really bad for us? Is it because of that abyss of time thing? I don't seem to be affected. Are you sure it's not simply because you're all weak? Oh, we're weak, are we? Save it for later, Akihiko. So if it's not because of the Abyss, does it have something to do with us? We did take a step back from fighting for a while, so that's probably the biggest factor. More importantly, your persona's output is currently unstable, so their abilities are partially limited right now. Maybe we just forgot how to fight? Does muscle memory even go away? Not that it really matters. All we can do right now is work with what we've got. Oh, you know, easy for you to say, but... I guess... You're nervous too, aren't you? Right? I don't 
know. It seems like it'll be pretty rough. You have nothing to worry about, sister. I'll be there for you. Well, now that we've established the situation at hand, I'd like to set expectations a bit before we head out. I should operate on my own to find out whether or not there's more to those materials we found underground. Fine solo, huh? I guess you are the only one who can identify that sort of thing, though. I'll regroup with everyone once I learn more. There's something else I want to look into as well, so it's more efficient for the team to progress without me there. Your objective is to see if the Abyss of Time connects to anywhere else besides the dorm. And since we don't know how much time this will take, it's imperative that we secure our supply routes. Oh, in that case, kinda seems like a job for Koromaru, don't it? I mean, he's sharper than a human! You know, with his sense of smell and all. <laughs> yeah? Your game, bud? I'm a little worried about us being weaker than usual, though. So, how about I come with you? <laughs> All right, I'll let the two of you handle that then. Iori, Koromaru, and I will go about our own tasks. Everyone else, follow Igus's command and focus on exploring. I'm counting on you, Igus. That's what I like to hear. And you can count on me to bring back results, too. Let's head out once you've decided on our course of action. If we want to make progress, then we better get to it. <laughs> 